Okay, today we're back over at the Noble Prize Project that's located in the city of Orange. And you can see our lumber has arrived. And what my framer is doing today is he's doing a lot of layout and plating, which means the bottom plates are all getting the holes drilled in them for the hold down bolts. Um, and they're doing layout, so 16 on center, making sure everything's plumb and square, and then lugging that lumber over there to get it ready to be framed up. Okay, so they're marking the plates and all the pipes. Let's see how he measures that out. Six inch tape measure from here to here and then brings it on over, marks the center, and then he draws a hole. Okay, today again we're back over at our ADU in Orange, and this is being built towards passive house standards. And why don't I take you inside and we'll explain some of the stuff that we're doing that makes it a little bit unique and different than other regular Title 24 builds. Come on in. Okay, so one of the things that we're doing, a little bit different, but a lot of people might still do it, we have two by six exterior walls. With the two by six exterior walls, that gives us enough insulation in between the stud bays but also with two inches on the outside which eliminates us of building an actual interior chase where we would usually run all of our electrical and maybe some plumbing work if it was small enough um, so with the extra two inches of insulation on the outside even with our electrical boxes sitting in here it's not going to penetrate enough to eliminate the U values or slash the R values of that insulation in this wall cavity. The other thing that we're doing is you can see this green Stagel Home vapor wrap. And if you remember from previous videos, this vapor wrap is on the inside of our foam insulation. So here's two inches of exterior foam insulation that will continue up the wall. So we'll pull this up. We'll tie this in to our sheathing once it gets on. We'll tie this in and then we'll tape it all the seams to make it like a monolithic piece. And then our exterior vapor barrier will go over our plywood and overlap this. And then our two inches of insulation on our walls will come on up all the way up to the top plate. And one of the unique things that we do is if you can see this little string line right here, this allows us when we get our first header in for a window and then a header and a window down framed up over there. When we install the third one, we string that line and we're able to make sure that they're all even. Even if there's walls separating them, you still want all your windows to be at the same height. Another thing that's required is that we use these big square washers down here and they're three by three, so three inches by three inches, along with this nice nut and bolt. This holds down that bottom plate to the concrete. And this is for structural integrity, such as earthquakes or just earth movement in general. Uh, tornadoes and hurricanes, if we have them in our area. But again, we're in Southern California, and the, the biggest thing that we have are earthquakes, so that's what we're really worried about. 